This is Phil Reed. It's Friday, August 12th. This is a dry lake bed in the middle of the Mojave Desert at Edwards Air Force Base. And we're watching some of the approximately 70,000 people that are expected to be here this morning to witness the first free flight of the Space Shuttle Orbiter Vehicle. We're located here at the press site, just across from where the carrier aircraft and the orbiter will start the takeoff run. The flight test that we're about to watch will be the first time that the shuttle orbiter has ever been flown in free flight and returned to a landing under its own control. Astronauts Fred Hayes and Gordon Fullerton are the crew for this morning's flight. And here they are walking out to that huge mate demate device right on time to board their spacecraft, the Enterprise. Here at the end of the runway, Three tents have been erected to shelter the busloads of very important people who will view the flight. There is California's governor, Jerry Brown. The shuttle is a VIP, very important project for his state. Since the orbiter is being built by Rockwell International in Downey and Palmdale, and one of the two launch sites for the operational shuttle system will be at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Here it comes. Just look at the size of that combination. At the end of the runway, they'll check out the orbiter flight control system and surface deflection, get a navigation update, and wait for Houston Mission Control to give them a go for takeoff. The Enterprise looks like a big load for that carrier aircraft, but actually, the total weight is less than a 747 passenger jet loaded with passengers and fuel for a flight to Tokyo. In just a few moments now, we'll see them begin the takeoff for this historic first free flight of the Space Shuttle Orbiter. Mission Control in Houston has given the go, and they're beginning their takeoff. The carrier aircraft will climb and intersect a flight path trajectory the shape of a racetrack, 73 nautical miles in length with 21 nautical mile curves. It will climb as it goes once around this path and reach an altitude of about 26,000 feet above the lake bed. This is Houston Control. Takeoff rotation at about 47 seconds after uh, break release, which was on the hour straight up. chase. Those chase planes carry cameras, which will give us a good view of the entire flight. We're coming up on four seconds to push over. Two, one, push over. Houston copies, push over. Accelerating now at airspeed 205. Okay. Altitude 27. Airspeed 230 knots. Houston is going for set. Have a great flight. Take one step. The Enterprise crew initiated the separation sequence which triggers explosive bolts at the three pylon attach points. Notice that the orbiter is rolling to the right about 20 degrees to obtain horizontal separation. The 747 is rolling left about 10 degrees. Okay, she's flying good. Roger. Fred Hayes conducting a practice landing at altitude. This gives him the uh, feel and attitude and same airspeed as when he touched down. He's starting to turn the final. Start to turn the final. Eight miles out. Energy potential good. Enterprise, we show eight miles out, nine potential. We'll leave you here. Okay. We recommend 30% speed brakes. Okay, board's coming open to 30. Speed brakes are coming open. 
Enterprise, we now recommend 50% speed brakes. 5,295. Speed brakes coming in now. Over the numbers in the runway. And we are armed and flaring. Parts coming in. 200 feet, 290. Fido says it looks super. Okay, the gear is coming down at 270. Gear coming. Doors open and they're all down, coming down. Look down here. 50 feet. 40 feet. 30. 20. 15. 10. Holding 10. 220, about 5 feet. 4 feet. Getting some dust, four feet. Three feet. Two feet. Just over off about two feet. You're on, you're on. Really an exciting first flight for the space shuttle, our first reusable space vehicle. This flight has verified the orbiter's approach and landing capability. Free flight tests of the Enterprise here at Edwards Air Force Base will continue during the next few months. Meanwhile, assembly of orbiter number 102, the vehicle which will make the first shuttle flight into Earth orbit, is proceeding. These first flights into space are scheduled for 1979 and the very next year, 1980, the shuttle will begin operational and routine space operations carrying cargo to and from space. Shortly after their successful flight, astronauts Hayes and Fullerton visited the space division in Downey and talked with division president George Merrick. Fred, we've just seen the first flight of the Space Shuttle Orbiter. Uh, do you have any surprises? Well, n really not any, uh, anything uh, large in terms of how the vehicle uh, flew. It was amazing how similar it was to what we've been seeing through uh, hundreds, almost a thousand approaches in various simulators. Uh, in fact, where things did differ very slightly, they were on the plus side. It actually being flew flew better than what we've been seeing in simulation. Sounds like the only way to fly. Gordo, you had an opportunity to handle the stick for a few minutes. Uh, how did it strike you? I got about one minute of total flying time, one left turn and a few seconds of straight and level, but uh, I found that the airplane flies uh, very nicely. It's uh, quite stable and it uh, responds instantly to uh, commanded input and no pilot can ask for more than that. Fred, uh, for the first landing without uh, power of the orbiter, uh, how did you think the landing went? Well, it, uh, it went super. The, uh, the control we had was uh, extremely good. I had the uh, ability to hold, hold it off at the right altitude, uh, and basically that's what I did. I got very low to the ground and just sort of scooted along at uh, two to three foot above the ground until uh, Gardo reading air speeds came up to the speed at which I wanted to try to land her. And I really just relaxed and let it uh, drop in very gently uh, from there. It, it really was a very easy task. We ended up long. Uh, and I think on later flights, now that we know how it really glides, we can uh, hit closer to the spot. Well, we're uh, very proud of the crew and uh Certainly very proud of our enterprise. It was a great day for all of us. Well, I'll certainly agree with that. <laughs>